My next guest says that Congress has failed in its attempt at regulation and last week's Christmas gift to Fannie and Freddie proves it. You may remember the U.S. Treasury Department removed the caps on $400 billion of federal assistance to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and also eased restrictions on the size of their investment portfolios. Uh, Peter Wallison is a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and he served as general counsel in the Treasury under President Reagan. And in fact, 10 years ago, Peter, you were doing the exact same thing, right? You were at AEI looking at Fannie and Freddie. That's right. I was starting out on the process of trying to figure out why these companies were uh, taking risks, and it turns out that uh, it was impossible to regulate them. Uh, they were too powerful, Congress would not respond, and uh, we're paying the price now, right. at least $400 billion. Maybe too big to fail, I don't know, but how is this going to, you know, you say that the situation that we just saw, this uh, quote-unquote Christmas gift to Fannie and Freddie, how is that going to worsen the situation? Well, it doesn't worsen the situation, it just recognizes the situation. What do you mean? Uh, the situation is that they are losing money in gobs, uh, up to $400 billion of losses on the mortgages that they bought and mortgages that are defaulting. What I think the Treasury Department is recognizing now is that the losses will exceed the $400 billion cap. That means the taxpayers will have to pay more than $400 billion. So thus they get an unlimited, they get to tap into an unlimited yes. amount of capital then. Right. And as long as the Treasury Department continues to support them, the taxpayers will, in effect, be contributing more toward the losses of Fannie and Freddie. Far greater than any bank, far greater than any other financial institution, they are suffering enormous losses on the mortgages they invested in. But the thing is, is that uh, you know you can kind of see why the Treasury would do this, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the housing market is is just at the point of recovery. Yes. And they're worried. The Treasury is worried that if they don't do this, then the housing market is going to collapse again. Mortgage rates are going to spike up. Uh, so clearly, there is that, that that reason then for the Treasury. I mean, can you not see that point, or you think that that is just too oh, big of a? No, I, I agree completely with that. Fannie and Freddie had made themselves because of their government backing absolutely essential to the continuation of a housing finance system in this country. And we're stuck with them now, and we have to keep feeding money to them because we don't have any other way of financing middle-class homes. So uh, this is our burden now, and how deep that burden will be, how expensive it will be for the taxpayers is yet to be determined. Well, that's but what I, I want to ask you, Peter. How, how expensive is it going to well, be? Well, we don't know. They have, at the end of 2008, they had about $1.6 trillion in subprime and Alt-A loans, that is, non, other non-prime and risky loans, on their portfolios. How, much, uh, how many of those loans will go bad mm. and what the severity of the losses will be when they go bad is the question. I don't think anyone knows, but as, as long as the housing market continues to decline, the losses will increase. Right, they will. They will go go higher. Sure. Okay. So, but you know, a lot of we were talking about the notes actually that Fannie and Freddie sell. A lot of foreigners buy them. Yes. You've got Chinese banks buying them. You've got hedge funds as well as institutional investors. So, does that mean that given this gift to Fannie and Freddie, that it's actually still safe to buy these notes or not? Oh, absolutely. It was always safe to buy these notes. The U.S. government was always going to stand behind, fully behind Fannie and Freddie. So, as far as I'm concerned, if anyone were to ask me. Ask me five years ago, ask me five years from now whether it will be safe to buy Fannie and Freddie's notes. The answer is, of course, mm -hmm. they're as good as Treasury notes. Okay. Peter, we've got to leave it there, but good to talk with you about this and certainly something that we have to watch for 2010.